hello there sassy people welcome to mature sass my name is linda my channel is all about having fun with style and fashion nails skin care but today it's about an old love of mine children's literature if you recall probably a few weeks ago when i did the love bugs for valentine's day i asked if some of you would be interested for me to do one of my favorites for St. Patrick's Day. It's Jamie O'Rourke and the Big Potato. I love this story and I love Tommy DePaulo. Remember I told you he's one of my, he was one of my absolute favorite children's illustrators and authors. And so I thought, before I forget again, St. Patrick's Day is coming soon. So let's go ahead and make this craft. If you want to see how I make it, come on, let's do it. All right, are we ready? <laughs> All right, so I have a picture of who we're going to be creating. So Jamie O'Rourke was an Irishman, and so he has his pretty beautiful red hair so I think I'm going to use orange for that but um what you can do after we're only going to create his face and we might throw in a potato but I was thinking what you could <clears throat> excuse me what you could do with your child or grandchild is put it on a piece of poster board you know like his face and then you could actually draw his body and the dog and cat and the hoe and just go to town with it but as you know I told you how much I absolutely love Tommy DePaula and um, this is in memory of him Jamie O'Rourke and the big potato so we're gonna need these materials <laughs> guys it is so funny it took me forever to find a pencil I you don't realize when you get rid of like you know <laughs> the bulk of your life um not your life but you know what I mean all the things that I needed for my career and look at the pencil <laughs> of course it's glittery right but I had to search for this pencil then I had to search for a pencil sharpener because I left all that stuff at school and gave it away so luckily I kept this it's a little compact one that I bought years ago I think it office max but anyway it did the trick so a pencil you're going to need these sheets of construction paper remember from the pack that you bought for the last the ladybug um craft so i hope you kept your pack we're going to need green and if you notice it's not a whole sheet you don't need a whole sheet just a piece of green for his band on his hat i I'm using a, a half of a folder, just a file folder, uh, because we're going to glue the hat and everything on it. So this is going to be like, you know, kind of sturdy, kind of card stockish. So we're going to need brown if you choose to make a potato. Just a small piece of orange for his hair. And we're going to need black for the hat. So first thing, oh, I'm sorry. And you're going to need two of those little jiggly eyes that we kept from the pack. I hope you bought a pack. You can get those for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. <laughs> All right, so normally I would already have these, uh, you know, printed up by the copy lady. And so the kids just had to cut them out. So what we have to do, we got to create one. So I'm going to fold this would be considered hamburger way. Hamburger is always the thick way. This is hot dog when you do it the long way. Isn't that cute? <laughs> you know what? When you t have taught elementary school for as long as I did, you can't get rid of the, you know, the childlike spirit that you have and you know actually I don't know if I would ever want to get rid of it anyway so we're going to do half of Jamie's face so 
you got to do it just like a half of it. So we're going to like come down a little. I'm going to give him a little protruding ear and then a curved face. All right. So let me see. Straight up here. So his face is going to be. Hmm. All right, so we're going to come down. I've got to leave room for the hat to come out. So maybe here. Down a little. We're going to give him a... Boy, those ears really stick out. So we need to protrude that ear a little. <laughs> and then his face is kind of on the round side. Jamie, I feel you. Okay, so this is going to be his face. So you just want to cut. Alright, so this is going to be Jamie's face. Now at the bottom, you see how I've given him like a little dip in his chin? <laughs> you can take that out. Alright, so that's going to be his face. Now we need to create a hat for him. Let's get rid of those. And once again, you're going to do the same thing. Just fold it hamburger-wise. And we've got to create a hat for Jamie. So, once again, we want it to be symmetrical. So, just think about we're going to have to come over at a slant. And then that thin brim part of the hat. Okay. So... Let's see. At the top, we've got to come over. So it's going to slant down at an angle. Then you want to bring it out and across the bottom. All right, so. I won't make you sit and wait. I'll just snip, snip, and then I'll show you. And here we go. So that's going to be his hat. And it's going to go... I want those ears to be showing. <laughs> so we're going to have his hat like this. Now, we're going to need to create that green band. So just take a piece of that green paper that I told you to take out. And just maybe like about an inch or so. Cut it. Sorry, I need to put my hand behind the camera. Now, you want to get your pencil back out. And we're going to lay the pen, uh, the uh, green right here. Hope you can see. Lay it evenly, like where that comes out. And what you're going to do is just take, see where this is. You're going to just make a little diagonal. Oops, there. And trace it diagonally there. So 
so when you cut it and place it you're gonna have the band of his hat now this is optional because Tommy did not give Jamie a, a buckle on his hat, but you know how extra I am. And the kids liked extra too, I guess, because <laughs> they had a teacher that was so extra. But anyway, we would always take just like a little rectangular piece of yellow. <laughs> just cut it like in a little rectangle, maybe a couple of inches and fold it hot dog ways, the long way this way. Now what you're gonna do, here's the fold part right here. Just come up a little bit across and up. <clears throat> Open it up, and we would create our own little buckle for his hat. So, let me glue these down. Um, let's go ahead and make his hair first. Now, what I always did with the kids is I just brought in like some, because you could get kind of like a reddish-orange yarn at Walmart, Joanne Fabric, or wherever, and we always made his hair out of yarn like this. We would take, you know, and just, I would just cut like maybe two or three inch strips and we would like glue it to the sides before we put his hat on and it was very cute. But since I don't have any yarn with me, we're just gonna use some construction paper. So let's take maybe about three inches worth. Cut it. And this should be enough for both sides so we want it to be even let's just cut it like this now let's just come up about two inches and you want to come maybe a fourth of an inch and just keep coming up. I meant like an inch from the top. You don't want to cut it all the way up because you need a place for it to be glued down. And all you're doing is just kind of fringing this. When you're doing like little pictures for the spring and stuff with your kids, if you take strips of construction paper in green and fringe it like this, it makes beautiful grass. <laughs> And by the way, we'll be doing one for spring when April gets here because I forgot that um, uh, several of you messaged me to do the back. To, remember when I pulled out my little supplies and I had those bunny ears in pink and everything and I told you that there was like a little activity. So I had people say, yeah, we want you to do it. So I'll be doing that in April. Um. Okay. So. We're going to be positioning hair on this side, and I might need to cut this down some because it's kind of long. So we're going to position it on this side and this side, and then we're going to glue these pieces down with the hat and everything. So I'll be back and let you see the final glue down and everything in three, two, one. 
Okay, so I have all the pieces glued. Now, I'm just going to be honest with you. It looks so much cuter when you use yarn. So, if you're going to do this with your grandchild, I suggest you just go and get some yarn. But, I mean, the orange um, construction paper worked fine. I had to cut this smaller to go around the temples of him. All right, so then you just want to... Do you see how I took and drew the inner part of his ear there? Let's get the picture. See how you're just going to make, so you can see the inside of his ear. You just want to do the same thing on this side. Hope you all can see. <clears throat> then... Jamie has <laughs> very beady little eyes. So what I did is I just chose the smallest of the um, uh, jiggle eyes. And then Jamie looks like he might have been in the sauce a little bit because his nose is kind of <laughs> reddish. And he's got like a little smirk on his mouth. So let's put the eyes kind of close together because the get that little beady effect All right, so for his nose, it's kind of like a little half circle. And if you like, you can um, just get you a, a red crayon. And you just want to kind of... <laughs> Add some red right there. And then he's got just kind of like that little smirk on his mouth. All right. And there we have it. There's Jamie O'Rourke. Now, also, he has like a little orange bandana. So you could even put like orange down here. Or you could even continue the construction paper there. Because at first it kind of looked like he had like a little half beard under there. Just play around with it and do whatever you want. But there is Jamie O'Rourke. And then with the brown, you can just make a pratty for the kids. Because... The title of the book is Jamie O'Rourke and the Big Potato, so we always made a potato also. And if you can kind of see uh, Tommy DePaula just kind of scalloped his potato and then made like little eyes all over. And so that's what the kids and I would do. And you don't need to do it any certain kind of way. You just want to kind of fluff it around like this. And then you would make circles, and then the eye. And you just put them all over. Okay? All right, I'll be right back. So, what did you think? I always had fun making that with the kids. Now, what I am going to be doing is, if you notice, I have the book. Yeah, I ordered a copy for one of you all so that you can make the craft with either your child, your grandchildren, nieces, nephews, whoever you decide to make it with. I am gifting this to one of my subscribers. Now, you have to be at least 18 or older. You have to be a public subscriber to my channel. And let's see. Let's put the word 
potato down in the description box. So if you would like to win, please just let me know by putting the word potato. But first, I'm gonna show you what it's gonna include because I've actually made two for one of you to do with one of your little ones or two of your little ones. Watch and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so you all know how anal I am already, right? <laughs> so I was thinking there has to be a better fit for that since we're not using the um, yarn. So what I did is I kind of curved some. So it's going to swing around his face. So what you're going to do, and what I'll do is I'll label an L on the back of one. So you know to put that on the left. And a right side yeah let's try this I just think that this is gonna look so much better if it actually fits his face Yep, so when you glue that down, it's going to curve with his face. And I'm going to think that that, was, that will look so much better, don't you? Rather than that just being straight. I know, I know, I'm that person. But anyway, I will include these. I'm not going to cut them because I'm going to let you do that with your grandkids. Unless you want me to. Let me know. But I'm going to put like an L on the back and an R on the back so you'll know which side to switch. And I'm not insulting your intelligence. It's just that I've learned over the years. Like when I've done for friends and then I send it to them. Well, you didn't say which side to go on which. So I've just learned. Just go on and just label it. <laughs> Remember, I'm the labeler. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's the big potato. And what I'll do is I'll just give you a pattern. But I'll let you do the drawing inside of the eyes and everything. And there's little Mr. O'Rourke. And you can shade that in red. Alright, so here's what you'll be getting. You're going to get the face. You will get a hat. You'll get the band. And for the band, I've already traced right there. And all you have to do is just cut it. And in case you want to put a um, buckle on the band... I've already given you like a little rectangle and traced it or drew it. <laughs> so all you have to do is just cut where I've traced or where I've drawn the lines like that. And when you unfold it, you'll have a buckle. You're also going to get the side hair. Now, for the part that's at the temple, I just went ahead and fringed it. If you want these parts fringed already let me know no problem I'll cut them for you but I just wanted to make sure that it was a project that you could do with your grandkids and the kids could cut and everything so that's why I just I left it and then you're going to get two eyes and then you're going to get a big potato and all I've done is just taken a marker and just you know like made one and then all you have to do is let me see where mine is Draw the eyes and uh, put the little dots in. All right, enjoy. All right, so it's all ready to go for two little ones. Just once again, leave the word potato down below in a comment. And um, let's see. Oh, Miss C and I are going to be having lunch on Friday, so it will be open until Friday, so just a couple of days so that I can get it to you and you can do it for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to have Miss C to pick the winner. So I'm, usually it's only a few people who enter, so I'm just going to have her to draw a name, and then on fr we're going to lunch on Friday. It's a planning day for her, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll pull it like Friday, our regular time, 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Could you be the winner? Come back and see. 
one of you will be the lucky winner to get the, those two things, well, for two of your little ones to do the craft. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with me. I do appreciate you. Make sure you're staying safe and healthy and definitely keep it sassy. Go get you some pratties. <laughs>